Let's talk briefly about making buttons dimmed or invisible and that's a, a common process now where uh, some speech therapists like to create a page of buttons and then make them all invisible except for a couple of them and then uh, slowly reveal the other ones so they don't introduce too many to confuse the user. So let's suppose I have a new user, I've created this page of buttons but at this point in time with my user, I really only want the first row to be, to be visible. I don't want them to see these other ones. And to make them invisible, I simply hit the edit button in the top right hand corner. And you notice there's a star in each bottom right hand corner of every, of every button. If I touch that button one time, it makes the button invisible. The next time I hit it, it makes it dimmed. And the last time I hit it, it it goes back to fully visible. So it toggles between visible, invisible, and dimmed. So let's make this row of buttons just dimmed. And if you hit outside that button and that thing comes up, just ignore it, the menu, and just touch the button on the star again. So I have dimmed. These ones I want to make invisible which is really nice because I can act on all the buttons on one page at the same time. Now I hit done. So there we have a row of visible, a row of dim. Dims don't do anything, but the user can see them. Invisibles, of course, you can't, they don't do anything at all. So the user gets used to using these first four, then I could decide, okay, let's let him or her see one more button. There we go. And that's how simple it is to make buttons dimmed or invisible.